It's a good time to learn this. Students at more than four dozen Long Beach Unified School campuses won't have air conditioning for a while. Yes, and some classrooms make that years. CBS 2's Joe Kwan explains why. It's hot out and kids are back in school. My kids were sweating before they even walked into the classroom this morning. Casey Bullard's kids are in kindergarten and second grade here at Prisk Elementary. Most of the classrooms don't have AC. This is the first day here at Prisk Elementary and I just checked the weather. It's supposed to get up to 84 degrees during the school day. The school's bungalows or dozen portable classrooms you see here do have AC, but Ricardo Max kids are in rooms without. I know that it's difficult for the kids to concentrate because of the, the extreme heat. 60% of campuses in the district are in the same situation as Prisk. Some will get AC soon, but most classrooms here at Prisk will have to wait until 2025 to cool off. 2025, wow. That's a long time away. Long Beach Unified's Chris Eftahue says Prisk and two other schools are last on the list. Why? It has to do with our capacity to you'll get so many projects up and running at the same time. Also, getting approvals from the Department of State Architect that can take as long as a year. Andy says the bonds voters approved to pay for the projects can't be sold all at once. There is some relief from the heat in the meantime. We definitely have fans. And the windows and doors at Prisk will be open before kids arrive to let built up heat escape. We ask for people's patience. We're going to get to you as quickly as we can. I wish there was a way they can expedite that. Stanford Middle School across the street will have AC installed in two years. In Long Beach, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News.